What's up guys, uh, I got another Alliance War video for you, uh, Season 5 big debut, First War Season 5, uh, we will be going up against 3 Loki, I will be going path 6 to 7 this war, this first node is Aggression Fury, Unblockable L1 and Limber, it's a, uh, it's a tech, I'm expecting Iron Man Infinity War, it's usually him if it's a tech on this node. Uh, we have been hoarding our boost, so I am max boosting. It is seasons again. We are uh, we are taking war serious now, even though we, I mean we we always take war serious, but uh, it is it is the Iron Man Infinity War, and uh, I've done this fight plenty of times. I'm very used to this fight. Uh, I do have the blade synergy, so I do start out with the three poise charges in the beginning, which was which was really nice. I do like to try and uh, build up a couple more poise charges while not letting Iron Man get to uh, get too many of those Fury buffs. So uh, I do bait out these heavies from him and hit those Fury buffs off of him. Uh, I am getting close to an L2, and he is getting close to 15% or 20% whenever he goes into his auto block. I, uh, I get a two-hit combo, drop the L2, and it does take that Iron Man Infinity War out on note 12. So I actually, I do throw a tech power boost on now after that fight, because I feel like uh, if I threw on that tech power boost uh, during the Iron Man fight, it might uh, it might have not have went well. Uh, I might have had too much power, and I don't know. Uh, I just I just don't feel comfortable. I don't know. It's weird uh, using power boost uh, against Iron Man Infinity War on that node. Anyway, next node, Bane, enhanced ability, stun immunity. It's uh, my Kryptonite Modok. Hate fighting Modok. Uh, and I hate fighting Modok on this node. <laughs> so yeah, everybody places Modok. He does, the guy is running unfazed. He does go unstoppable there. Uh, I do get clipped. Uh, I do take a full transfer of Bane. A ton of my health uh, just got taken off by Bane, unfortunately. I'm getting back into the wall. Um, a decent amount by this Modok. I hate Modok. Uh, I do get to an L2, and I do get him down. Uh, guys, if you could please stop placing Modok on 18, I'd really appreciate it. So, uh, next node, node 24, six star skill. It's going to be a kingpin. Always a kingpin if it's a six star skill. Uh, so, yeah, node 24. Uh, this node does have a limber on it, but it's a kingpin, so I'm not really going to try to stun him too much. Uh, in the beginning of the fight, I do want to build to max poise while trying not to get back into the wall too much, which I'm doing now. Um, I do have the blade synergy, which is great, which helps so much in Alliance War. Not really helps so much, but it's nice starting out with those three poise charges. So I am a 10. I do get a parry in. Uh, he doesn't shrug it off. He wasn't in his rage mode. I do uh, push him to an L1, and I'm just trying to uh, bait out this L1. I do bait out the L1. I do go back in for a five-hit combo. The buff A note does trigger, but it doesn't really matter. The sparks damage output uh, is damaging through that buff A node. I am at an L2. And I do get another 5 hit combo, drop this L2, and that Kingpin does go down on, uh, on node 24, the Buffet node. Uh, so this next node is the Buffet Mini Boss. It is a 565 Domino. Uh, my Spark is a little bit healthy because I just healed him up <laughs> after that crazy, after that uh, that Scrub Modoc fight. But anyway, I do I do uh, heal him to full or heal him pretty much to full. I do throw a Advanced Power Boost on. I think I threw an Advanced Power Boost on. And I'm also running this tech power uh, power thing. Yeah, I threw an advanced power boost. So uh, na name of the game is to build max poise charges uh, against Domino or against any champion when you're using Spark. And when you uh, when you get back to the wall against Domino, do that medium trick and get out of the way. Uh, I, I do get that medium trick. I do uh, bait this heavy, get another five hit combo. I don't retaliate this L1, which was uh, which good thing I didn't because uh, the unfazed mastery did kick in. So I am in an L2. Uh, I'm just trying to build more poise charges. Uh, I uh, don't retaliate that L1. I get another medium trick in. Just getting those medium tricks in. I drop my L1, my L2 uh, before she gets to an L1 of, uh, of herself. Before she her power bar builds up. Just in case she went into her luck phase. Uh, before I drop that L2. Once again, I drop it again before she uh, like while she's going uh, while she's building the next part uh, special bar. Anyway, that probably made no sense to you uh so yeah power boost start with one bar power 
and that domino goes down really fast. And I didn't take uh, too much damage, which was pretty nice. So next node, node 38, aggression armor. Uh, it's not Iron Man Infinity War because I already fought him on node 12. It's nice. Um, it's nice in the seasons, like in war season when everybody's trying to be diverse and you take path 6 to path 7 and you already fight the Iron Man. So you know node 38, it's definitely not going to be the Iron Man. And good thing it's not the Iron Man because I didn't have my void. Uh, Spark probably can't do this fight. Uh, if it was the Iron Man. Any, any, anyway, it's a Labyrinth Ultron. Uh, uh, every, seven, every seven seconds, he evades, so I don't really want to have to deal with that. I'm only going to attack him while he's stunned, so I don't have to deal with, it, with his evade. So that's what I'm doing. I uh, drop, my, uh, drop my L2, and that Labyrinth Ultron does go down on node 38. So next node is uh, node 42, the recovery node. I think it's recovery. Yeah, recovery and arc overload. And I see the persistent charges, the mystic, the three persistent charges. And it's a Mephisto, and I bring my blade in. I haven't used blade in Alliance War at least, I don't know, for like two or three seasons. But I actually do bring him in because he was the best counter <laughs> to this fight. And it is seasons, and we're trying to do the best we can. So against Mephisto, his L1 always sketches me out. I always get clipped, clipped by it uh, right there. He parried he, he parried me, but I do have danger sense. Thank God he didn't stun me. Uh, so yeah, Mephisto's L1 always sketches me out. I, I never have the timing down perfect. Sometimes I do, but then sometimes I don't. Like right there, he clipped me, but luckily I'm blade and I have the danger sense and I can just regen that. So uh, he does go into his uh, War of Incineration. So I try and get out of the way so it doesn't do any damage to me. Uh, right here, uh, I do retaliate the L1. <laughs> for, I think like that was the second good retaliation I got in the whole fight. Uh, I do, uh, I do, uh, I do get, think I got clipped twice by his L1, uh, but that's all right. So once again, I retaliate it, I'm getting the timing down a little bit better. This uh, this Mephisto is going down pretty quick. The uh, recovery and arc overload node totally got shut down thanks to the danger sense. So working as intended. Uh, he does throw the L2. I was waiting for the for the sentence to come up because that's when you retaliate him after the L2 for like the letters to come up. It didn't come up, but uh, I did get the retaliation in, and then Mephisto goes down. And yeah, uh, some Blade Alliance War gameplay. So next node is the Strike Back node and the Plague Mind. Is it Plague Mind? I don't know. I haven't haven't done commentating alliance war videos in a while but anyway it is cable and i do bring my 565 spark this cable does not stand a chance against my spark fully boosted or whatever boost i am right now and uh pretty much the name of the game is to not get back into the wall against cable because this heavy is pretty sketchy against the wall i got a really weird parry in it's pretty weird i don't retaliate the l1 because of uh, the unfazed mastery i didn't want to get clipped there this guy's two power gain buffs on i do drop my heavy i do power drain him he's going down really quick i get another five hit combo drop the l2 and yeah man uh first war of season one that is it for me not season one first war of season five that's it for me uh my boy hands uh, did really, really, really good work on this 565 Medusa. Shout out to Hands for sending me over the footage. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoy. This is a 565 Corvus gameplay versus 565 main boss Medusa. So yeah, big shout out to Hands. I appreciate it, bro.
So yeah, man, we did win this war. Uh, big shout out to FaZe and Ares over there at 3 Loki. Uh, congratulations to all the MVPs. I hope you guys like this line sort of video. Till the next one. Peace.